Welcome back. A breakthrough in the fight against HIV. The Wits Reproductive Health and HIV Institute has come up with a new preventative measure that's 90% effective. Initial results from clinical trials show taking an injection of PrEP and cab -LA once every eight weeks is more effective than taking a daily pill to prevent HIV among women. Let's get the final details now. Maseko Ratlacha is following the story for us. She joins us live. So what exactly does this mean for us and why only women? Well, Shahan, to uh, answer the latter part of your question, um, in May this year, in fact, um, there was uh, the same trial. Uh, the, the same trial was actually done on uh, men and uh, transgender women. And in May this year, the results of that trial were released, and it basically showed the same results. So uh, what it means for us, Shahan, is that um, if you're a person who's trying to uh, make sure that you don't uh, contract um, HIV AIDS, you can, instead of using using a pill daily, you know, a lot of people have said that they are, for instance, stigmatized when they are trying to, when they carry their pills around. We already know that, um, you know, a lot of people always stigmatize people and shame people who are taking pills every day. So this means that you um, don't have to go through that shame. You can go to your doctor um, and get that injection and for two months you'll be fine as long as you go back again after that two months. But uh, we don't have uh, that um, in, in circulation yet, Shahan. There's still talks, but here is uh, one of the researchers in that department at Bits University telling us more. So we're not looking at something that's going to be available immediately. Um, but clearly this is going to be fast-tracked both from the clinical research point of view and the manufacturing side. Uh, because, uh, the, you know, access to this for a country like ours with such high numbers of infected young women and new infections every year, it, it, it could be a game changer. So what's the reaction from civil society organizations? Well, Sean, you would remember uh, the treatment action campaign in 2002 when they won that constitutional court uh, battle uh, between themselves and government, uh, then President uh, Tabombeki and his health minister, Mandu Chabalalam Simang, uh, telling people to eat beetroot. And that was the fight um, for people to get access, free access to ARVs, people living with HIV. You'd remember back in those days, people, as the treatment action campaign would keep saying, were dying like flies. So we went and we reached out to the treatment action campaign about this uh, um, breakthrough they welcome it Shahan with open arms but they also warn that it won't be anything positive unless um, the poor can also get access but here is the chairperson of the TAC Spongile Chabalal medication needs to be accessible to everyone and also affordability so that the government can be able to buy in order to provide uh, uh, medication even this vaccine, when it comes, we expect it to be available for, the, for it to be cheaper, for it to be accessible. But if it's not in, available in public uh, uh, clinics, then it, 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 it's as good as not having it.